my name is Greg Lafoe. I'm with Agriculture Victoria. I'm the project leader for the PIPS3 Integrated Pest and Disease Management Program. And I'm here in the Tatura Smart Farm Pear Orchard. Uh, we're looking at a conservation biocontrol project that we're undertaking here at TAT. And this is just one of the locations. We have locations around the country. Um, another site is at the University of Tasmania down in Tassie. But um, today in this site, we're looking at monitoring techniques. So in these plots, we're looking at different inter-row vegetation covers and we're particularly focusing on whether we can put native species back impact that would have on, say, beneficial insects and on pest populations as well. We'll also look at soil health and yield. Um, but today we're monitoring pests and beneficials and we're using a variety of techniques to get a, a good understanding of the populations over time. On the tree trunk here we have an earwig trap and so in a pear orchard earwigs are considered beneficials um, so they help to control pest populations. So we're looking at whether earwig numbers are boosted uh, through various treatments such as native vegetation um, and comparing that to the existing management regime. We've also got in the ground a pitfall trap and this captures uh, ground dwelling insects, again the pests and beneficial such as predators. And we come along and monitor those regularly so we get a, a good idea of what's occurring in the orchard between the 32 different plots um, over the growing season. Um, we're also using other monitoring techniques. So there are monitoring, monitoring techniques developed by Agriculture Victoria which um, involve counts of pests and beneficials on the foliage throughout the growing season. So we do one minute observations per panel of trees. We also do um, visual observations of a set number of leaves per tree and so on. And uh, very soon we'll be starting our sweep netting of the inter -row vegetation. So we'll walk along with a sweep net and collect um, insects from the top of the, the, the ground based vegetation between the rows. And we'll also put out sticky traps and catch some of those flying insects as well. This all creates a picture of what's happening between the treatments and so we're looking at differences between pest populations between treatments and the number of beneficials between treatments and then what that means for yield and fruit damage. Mm -hmm.